Hey everyone, it's Lee from Creatively coming to you with a video of my craft room slash office dedicated to Zeb from Auckland, New Zealand. Poor old Zeb's um, a wee stitching buddy who's been stuck in lockdown for a lot of weeks and yeah, it's been a bit shit. So, um, and she asked for this craft room video and I've talked about doing it for ages and Warning, I'm not a very good videographer. I don't have a gimbal. I'm holding my iPhone and I tend to waffle around and both with my speech and my phone. But, um, and it will contain a lot of non-stitchy content because it's not just a stitching room. In fact, I don't actually stitch in this room. So yeah, off my lounge, I can step back and not fall over the coffee table. Um, I have this room um, kitchen's over there, um, lounges here, um, I've got a, I've been hanging pictures up, <laughs> I finally hung Cracker Sense of Friendship, my bedroom's over there, lounge behind me, but anyway, I have these lovely bifold doors, cost me a fortune to get them custom made, so that when I'm in my office, I'm not tucked away in the back of the house, um, I always intended to have two desks in here, a little one for my computer and a larger one for crafting. Never did I know I would be working from home a lot and actually need to work from this office. Um, I've got a solar tube, but I've got the lights on at the moment just for, but I don't, I always don't always have the light on and I've got um, the ducted heat pump kind of keeps this room the same as the rest of the house. So this side is my office space. Um, well, both desks are from Ikea. Um, no, we don't have an Ikea in New Zealand yet, and I paid a fortune for an importer. So at the moment set up for my work, my work laptop, I need to get a fancy arm and stuff. Um, that's the second cross stitch I ever stitched, and that's the first and only one I had framed for a very long time. It's the Jester's, and it's crooked, but never mind. <laughs> I'll straighten it later. Um, I'll probably move it eventually because I want this wall to be covered in my mirabilia, so I'll end up moving that, but um, it is where it is until I get, you know, fairies and mermaids um, framed. Uh, this one I have a little bit I framed myself. It's a free sort of embroidery that I did from a big picture classes years ago, and I think the theme was 25 things about me or 25 things I like I can't remember but I did a little mini album to do with it as well but um one day I might go over it in a bit more detail if anyone's interested I'd have to look up the mini album because I can't remember what the 25 things were necessarily um yeah computer desk random crap in those drawers to do with businessy sort of stuff and notebooks and stuff that can be filed and kind of random off more officey sort of stuff Razcog, mostly full of art supplies. I've got alcohol markers and gel pens and pencils and Sharpies, which are also alcohol markers. Uh, fountain pen inks. I've got gelatos and watercolour crayons and water soluble crayons. And yeah, I don't use that enough. I really, really should. Most of these drawers are empty. A lot of the stuff that's up here has to go into those drawers, but I need to find the right storage and compartmental stuff. Um, cube that I have for stuff that goes in my printer. So most of the stuff, well, some of it's office -y, like folders and things, but most of it is different kinds of paper, photo paper, matte paper, photocopy paper, whatever. Uh, printer labels and that, that can go through my printer. And I've got some large art pads there, so watercolour paper, etc. On top of my printer is just a box of scraps. It normally sits on the floor, but I just put it there for now. So um, when I'm scrapbooking or paper crafting, I keep decent sized scraps in there. Um, up the top is mostly stuff that needs to be sorted, pretty, and needs pretty storage so it doesn't look like this. Uh, but it'll do for now. So I've got memorabilia, photos, bits of projects and stickers and things up there. This shelf has pencils and pens and sorted sort of by categories and inks um, and a little bit of incoming postcard stuff there. You could argue it's memorabilia as well. 
uh, print ink, paint brushes. Um, this is a Tori Amos mug that I got from her Unrepentant Geraldine's tour back in, gosh, 20, 20, hmm, what year are we? 21, 4, 6, I can't remember. <laughs> um, and in here are kind of special pencils, some of them I've collected when I've travelled, so I've got, that's from Bubba Gumps and, um, San Francisco, a couple of um, Peanuts pencils from the Charles M. Schultz Museum in uh, Santa Rosa, um, some Field Notes pencils, I don't know, some of these are just fancy pencils I don't want to use, oh, those are from Alcatraz, um, so pencils, um, random tricky stuff, 6x6 six six paper, embellishment things that I've collected over the years. Some vintage, some buttons, and various bits and pieces. So I intend to use a lot of this next year and then de-stash significantly because I have too much, but I should give it a good go. Pens and pads and stuff that needs sorting. Down here I've got oh yeah, another desk from Ikea, big desk. Um, these are projects, so I've got India, my ballet appreciation album, a couple of other mini albums. It's actually a book of recipes. Uh, some paper. Oh, that's a project. Paper. Small bits of paper. Themed paper. Or um, paper that's in sets. That's um, India memorabilia. Those drawers are things like punches and stamp pads and glues and adhesives and all that sort of stuff. Uh, 12 by 12 loose paper. Um, here, a little cutter and a big shot. It's not a big shot pro, it's a big shot. I can't remember. It does large die cuts and stuff. Uh, up the top, random stuff from that means something to me. Please don't at me about the golly. I know, but my stepmother knitted it and it's special because she knitted it before she got Alzheimer's and she used to love knitting gollies and making dolls and she used to be really crafty and then once she got outside and she couldn't do it anymore so it breaks my heart and she used to carry around a scrap of a she used to carry around a scrap of this pattern she used to sell them and I don't know they were more acceptable right but she used to sell them and give them away and she used to carry around a scrap of the pattern and pretend and read it out over and over again and when she could still read and anyway it breaks my heart but my teddy bear so that's the Bear that I had when I was a baby, Tedrick. That bear's called Dudley. I made that, gave that to my mum. She used to collect bears, and then after she died, I took that back. Classic Pearl a friend gave me, and my graduation bear. My Cutty University. We had gold linings in our hoods. Um, some mixed media stuff that I've done. Um, the one at the back's not finished. And my DMC tins, the truck and truck transporter, and front end loader that my dad. Um, made for me, little door hanger thing I made, a Christmas album thing I made, which I don't even do Christmas, but I did a class, it was fun making, I like making things, but I don't necessarily want them. Um, my sketching, what the hell are those things called, mannequin thing, I can't remember what they're called, Got me. little Pinocchio that I won, I went to a ballet, won a competition, won a little Pinocchio, little tin that friends gave me, just like that, had fudge in it. It was elderflower and gin flavoured fudge. A little fertility thing from, I think from the Cook Islands. It might be from Samoa, I can't remember. Um, it hasn't worked, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> but um, it does have a rather splendid phallus. <laughs> Poor old, pops up his skirt. But um, anyway, friends gave that to me. They also gave me this that went to Disneyland one time. So it's a Mad Hatter hat. I'm not really into Disney and I really don't like Disney stuff. But... I like that they thought of me. So, all of these shelves are the Billy bookcases from Ikea. These are the ones. Um, I'm going to skip around the stitchy stuff and come back to that. So, top I've got um, colouring in books and flow magazines, um, scrapbooky and art kind of books, and some photography stuff. Uh, mini albums that I've made, stitching. 
random stuff I've copied out of magazines with craft shit that I thought I would do but probably never will so I probably need to go through these and get rid of a lot of it stuff that needs sorting some various notebooks I've kept and um, pretend writing that I've tried to do and some character development stuff and oh whatever um, scrapbooking magazines that I need to probably do stash a box of paper from flow magazines that I need to use or do stash um, that big box has got stamps and I've got stencils and dies for the die cutter um, over to the cubes so these are like you can get from Ikea but these are just individual cubes I got from storage box that fit five scrapbooking albums so embellish mini staff, stamps and inks and big letter stickers um, thicker letter stickers dies and my insects camera little bag I made for it stitching um, 12 by 12 paper and page protectors it's project life stuff and more 6x6 and 8x8 paper pads washi tape and various embellishments at the back and some large my large um, platforms and stuff for my die cutter and a large um, stamp press thingy empty albums for projects full albums these start the two big fat white ones, those are my two children, those are my Morocco albums, which I love, and I will save over everything else after my Tory CDs. So, my Tory drawer, I probably can rip the drawer out of the cabinet, but my Tory drawer and those two albums and my Mars memorial ring are the things that I would save if I had to. Um, albums, 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 India albums, work in progress. Some random stuff that cost me a fortune when I bought it that I don't use very often but not ready to get rid of. This starts with my childhood down here. Um, so it kind of goes chronologically from here. Well, actually, those two albums are... Actually, tell you a lie. That cube's all about my family, so my sisters, my nephews and niece. And then that starts my childhood chronologically this way to here. Oh, kind of they are sort of chronological but all those albums are the same kind they look nice together and they f two skinny albums with two fat albums they fit in India which comes in here somewhere um yeah so that's the room and now we'll just focus on the stitchy stuff which ironically is not that much but in this cube I got my whips there's a couple missing because they're over on the couch one that I've been working on and what yeah yeah basically there's two whip bags over on the couch so this did get a bit full early in the year when I got up to 17 or 18 whips and I don't normally have a great big plastic container in but I do for now because it's my Bella Bella portraits um, and that's my save the stitches which you haven't seen for a while um, but it will get some love next year hopefully moment I've got hanging my non-DMC the majority of my I get uh, it's not quite true hanging I have my silks for you skeins my um, various over dyed skeins where I've got more than a handful so I've got my Victorian motto and um, all my weeks and classic color works etc and gust and some other bits and pieces such as Tommy Lily um, this has got too big. There's actually more than this on the table at the moment, but that's because I'm kidding up a couple of projects. So normally it would hang here as well, but I'm, you know, wasn't going to put everything away to then undo it again. Um, yeah, so I plan to put a couple of sort of um, mesh things. Right, here they are. I bought these, oh, freak, I bought these like four years ago um, because they were on sale at Kmart. What are they? black wire urban memo board so the thing is I don't like putting holes on my walls until I know where they're gonna go I also don't love this brown leather so I was like well do I change that I could even with some twill tape or something so I haven't got around to that yet but I'm I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna put them ideally I'd have one close to my stitchy stuff but there's nowhere to put it over here I don't know. I'm thinking about putting one on that wall for stitchy stuff and one on that wall just for officey stuff. But I'm not sure. I might put just two on this wall above each other. That paper storage can move. 
Um, in fact, if I clean out this like I intend to, um, get rid of, like I really need to de-stash most of that, most of that, most of that. So three of these, and if I take out that, if I take out one of those shelves, then my paper storage can actually fit in here. So that's a project. So I may end up just putting both of these one above each other, and then I can put my floss, and I can put postcards and whatever up there as well. I don't want it to go too much higher. Oops, sorry about the finger. I don't want it to go too much higher than here because once this is tidy and looks pretty, like I've got some nice tins or something up there, not too high, I do intend to have, you know, a row of smaller stitching across here. So like, let's say the three, um, I don't know, this room can have fantasy stuff. So mermaids or fairies or witches or whatever can go along there. So, um... But anyway, that needs to look pretty and tidy. And as I said, I need to de-stash a whole lot of stuff. So, getting back to stitching, um, I need to sort this out. And I intend to actually reorganise everything by, apart from, sorry, apart from the, the main brands where they're chartered. So, the Gast, um, Weeks and Classic Colour Works. I'll keep them in their little bundles because, well, I don't have that much. But, um, you know, when they're called for, you kind of just need to find them, either numerical or, or alphabetical, depending on how they're done. Anyway, but everything else, I'm going to reorganise into bundles. So I'll have, like, reds, pinks, blues, so by colourway. And I'm going to mix silk and cotton, because I don't mind mixing silk and cotton, and you can tell which one is which. All the variegated will go together. Um, and then... Christine gave me this great idea, use butcher's hooks. So I'm going to get some black butcher's hooks that I will hook onto these and I can have the I can have them all displayed on there. And I'll leave these um, hooks up here for the guest, and the ones that won't fit. So anyway, that's what I plan to do because now that I'm getting too much for its overwhelm, um, scary that I got all that in two years. But anyway, back to, back to stitching. <laughs> Here are all my charts. So the ones that are not kitted up or in whips are all here. So I've got things either in um, page protectors uh, or in here because some of the American charts, because they're um, your eight and a half and eleven, um, is wider than our A4 paper. They don't fit in our A4 page protectors. So um, lots of photocopied stuff and things out of magazines, a lot of PDFs, PDFs, things out of magazines is what I meant, not photocopied stuff. Um, here's like I've got the linen and thread charts that I've printed off because they make them, they only keep them free for a short amount of time, then they charge. So I've got some of those armoured ones as well, linen and threads, and some other bits and pieces in there, and then a few books. I've got my sampler book, Joan Elliott, Cooler Designs. Search for the Soul and that magazine that I bought on. I'm gonna do that. Um, this little cubby has another one of these little things from Kmart, which has all my needles and floss rings and other accoutrements in there. And that's pretty cheap. Um, little bags and um, various things that buffalo bags, you know, little bags and stitchy things. They do actually stand out there, though, but uh, all my little floss, my little cards as I finish projects, and some other business cards and things. A box of mostly chronic, spools of metallic, um, which I don't use very often, but I see enough to fill it out. Um, down here I've got things just using containers that I have crouching down if I fall over don't laugh at me a moment all my dilt mill who is here I did have a use I did used to have oh these organized and by number and stuff but I don't have that many I don't I tend to only reach for them when I just need a color not necessarily a specific color so I will get them cataloged one day and then I'll know I have them on the spreadsheet so they're in there this one has all of my XSTMC, so um, 
a lot of it was from Gail and from my friend Tracy, so thank you again. I've got this all in a spreadsheet and all the they're all bagged up by numbers so I know what's there. Here is some silks, a lot of my um, hanks of silks, silks for you um, and some uh, Treasure XL that Gail gave me. Over here I've just got a little box of spools of silk that Gail gave me. My silky thread pack left over from my um, O feathers and a little box of just anchor that I've had because I've got some anchor. Uh, my master set. So this one has the DMC metallics and variegated and my whites, blanc, um, a crew, four boxes of the colours. One of these tins has got other silks like a verisoir and some other random silks and the other one has got random um, cottons that don't really have like a few um, cottage garden threads and some mosaic and bits and pieces I picked up on D stash and also just a little bag of other things that are not stranded cotton so some linen thread and some other awesome anchor variegated and this is my linen down here so normally not the best way to store it but I get this up every now and then so that's all of my linen stash sort of roughly organized from 28 at the bottom up to 40 at the top there's a little bit on the table because I again I'm kitting up a couple of things um, just gonna sit on this chair for a sec so I get a better angle talk about what I'm gonna do so yeah so I don't actually have that much stitchy stuff so it's yeah those four cubes and that cubby sorry those four shelves and that cubby and that apart from I've got a little bit of um, even weave and Ada scraps and stuff that's just another box in the cupboard it's not very exciting to look at some scraps of 14 count Ada and of course I've got my big box of projects that are kitted up that's also in the wardrobe which would take up you know best part of two of those cubes if they were in here and they just don't need to be in here because they're kitted up waiting um, intention so I've got way too much paper I'm at that point in my life where I've scrapbooked a lot of stuff I've done all the kids up to a certain age um, I mostly want to concentrate on travel and then the odd sort of like you know half a dozen pages a year kind of thing so that's what those albums over there are for uh, those two were for my <laughs> those were for my Europe trip um, that was going to be this year which isn't going to be this year anymore but they always wait because they're kind of vintagey and they've got they come with a set of cards and stuff so this will be my Europe album um, and other than that you know I'm I'm sort of all caught up to about 2016 and next year I intend to get caught up to 2021 and I'm gonna scrapbook 50 pages at least 50 at 50 um, using stuff that I already have I have more than enough paper to scrapbook so I've got all of that paper all of those cards all that paper all of those cards paper 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 so and at the end of the year I'm going to restock and get go through it and donate what I'm not ever going to use to my friend who's a school teacher um, because most of the paper is going to be a bit nannery probably but his kids the kids in the class like to have nice paper for projects my intention will be yeah I know I need to go through those magazines because I've just kept them for nostalgia I tend to use that box of paper, go through that and reduce that down from seven folders to three. I need to go through that and get rid of half of that. But some of it needs to be digitised. Um, and I want to use, I want to empty a cube basically here. So by the end of, by the end of the year, I should be able to, or sometime during next year, actually before the end of the year, I need to clear out one of these. Get that paper storage into there so it's by my paper um go through those folders go through those magazines so sort of clear out these three here um and then i can work my way through clearing out one of these 
cubes. So by the end of the year, I want one of these cubes empty. And then some of this stuff will be able to go there. A lot of this stuff like that there and that there is all memorabilia. So that needs to be gone through and either I need to find a nice box to store some stuff in for posterity, what goes in the album, what goes in the bin. I keep stuff, it doesn't mean I use it. Like I don't need to keep everything. I don't need to use everything I keep, but you know. And get rid of a lot of that stuff. Finish my India album. Finish, yeah. So I intend to clear out quite a bit of this stuff for next year. So it's going to be one of my projects. Exciting, hey? And then, um, by then also, any projects I kit up will be able to come back in here. I'll be able to find some nice storage for linen that I can organise it by... Um, organise it by... What do you call it? By count. Uh, so even some kind of divided thing. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. Um, that's my intentions. It's going to be an interesting year. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm going to do. So, when I be interesting to see um, what I'll do, probably I'll do a quick little update at the end of the year before I kick off my 50 at 50 with an updated whatever my goals are going to be, what my projects that I know I'm going to do are going to be, because I won't know all of them. Hopefully I've got this thing on the wall by then. I've got that paper in the cupboard by the in here by then um and yeah go from there really so yeah i hope that was okay i know a lot of it wasn't searching stuff and i imagine um yeah when you see i don't know perhaps some of you are surprised with how little space i have dedicated to searching uh <laughs> but i have got a lot of space you know yeah over time want to i want to transfer paper into albums Oh, because I also have a whole shelf in my big double linen cover that is um, supplies for um, collage and, and art. I've got um, a whole lot of art supplies like paint and canvases and magazine and old maps and other memorabilia and stuff as well. So um, it would be nice to get some bins. Um, even for the bottom row, potentially some of those canvasy bins that I could, because it's quite messy, but have that in that I can just pull out. Um, yeah, I could have art stuff, albums, albums, and then the top row could be the paper and stuff. I don't know. I, I we'll see how it goes. I'm here for a long time. Not a, you know, it's a journey, not a destination, right? Okay, that was 28 minutes. Um, <laughs> probably more than you needed to see but thanks for coming along to my craft room and as always don't let your needles rust ciao